What's going on ladies and gents? It's Salvaje. I'm back with another Fortnite quick tips when it comes down to the pyramid build in save the world I'm going to be giving you guys some advanced tips in this video uh, Now that I already did my introduction video for the pyramid build and why it's the best build for Atlas mission So let's get started. Okay, uh, there's going to be one major tip like if you can take away like any tips from this video Make sure that it's this one, please uh, I've never really seen this happen in Twine Peaks, but I do see this happen in Candy Valley from time to time. And that is, players make a pyramid build like this, and it's a really awesome build. But then, they start placing walls in the pyramid build. And then, of course, they make the walls like this, really small. And they think that that's going to help the build. But, that's actually not going to help the build, guys. If a smasher comes in through here... And he sees those walls, he's going to charge at your build, and therefore he's going to break this wall, and maybe, just maybe, he might completely obliterate you if you're, like, standing in its way, okay? So, when you are making a pyramid build, do not place these walls for extra protection, okay? In fact, if you want some extra, extra protection in your pyramid build, what you should be doing is you should be placing a floor, and then you should be making a half floor okay because if a smasher just like spawns here for example he's gonna see this half floor but he's not going to like charge at it right because smashers are not supposed to um charge at half floors at the time of me making this video so that's one of the advanced tips that i have for you guys stop making these walls on your pyramid build it's only making them uh smasher friendly and start making these half floors when it comes down to your pyramid build now another tip that it, uh, it has been getting pretty common, but when I first started playing Save the World, I didn't know about it, and that's why I want to put it out in this video. So when you're making a pyramid build, right, you're just going to be upgrading all of these walls, for example, right? And then, you know, after you're done upgrading all these walls, you're going to come up here, you're going to place, uh, you know, a floor down, and then you're going to upgrade the floor all the way, and then you're going to place a rooftop, and then you're going to upgrade the rooftop all the way. This is actually something that you don't want to do, okay? This is not how you want to do things when it comes down to the pyramid build. You guys want to upgrade all of the walls at the bottom, okay? And then, after you guys upgrade all the walls at the bottom, what you guys want to do at the top is... I'm just gonna get back to you guys when I'm done breaking this. So anyways, after you upgrade all of the bottom walls, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be placing... Let, let's, let's say that you built the pyramid build with metal, right? You're just going to choose metal. You're going to place a tier 1 metal floor. And then you're not going to upgrade it. Right? Because if you upgrade this metal floor, what's going to happen is... Uh, if you upgrade the metal floor and then, you know, this metal uh, top right here. What's going to happen is that the husks are going to start attacking your pyramid build over here. But what I like to do is... I like to, you know, upgrade all the walls that are over here at the bottom. I like to place a tier 1 floor of like any material, metal, brick, or wood. And then I place a pyramid on top of that floor and then I fully upgrade this pyramid, okay? Now, the reason why I'm going to fully upgrade this pyramid and why I'm not going to fully upgrade the floor below, it's because if the floor that's right here isn't fully upgraded, that means the husk, when they come attack my pyramid build, instead of attacking over here, they're going to attack all the way over here, okay? And if they do break this top structure, guess what? We are still going to have time to come destroy them because they are then going to have to break this bottom uh, structure right here. And as you guys can see, it takes a while to destroy the top structure, specifically when it's fully upgraded. So that's another advanced tip that you guys can uh, apply into your gameplay when it comes down to your pyramid builds. And that's a tip that it's going to help out a lot when it comes down to the higher levels of play. Now, another tip that I have for you guys when it comes down to pyramid builds. And this is something that, you know, I you don't really see this a lot. Like, it's not really necessary uh, at the higher levels of play even, like in Twine Peaks. But this is still something that you can do. In fact, I did it on my pyramid build uh, Quad Atlas Fortnite University video. But another thing that you guys can do to make sure that your pyramid build is even safer... You guys can build floors, you know, all around your build. And then you guys can transform them into half floors, right? And the reason why you want to do this, it's because let's say that a husk, you know, destroys this pe little piece right here. He's going to have to get through this little piece right here, right? And if you're doing a high level Twine Peaks mission, Canny Valley mission, or if you're just doing any mission where you feel like, you know, 
you're going to be under leveled you're not going to be putting in as much weight like you feel like the modifiers are like really annoying like exploding death burst for example then i recommend that you definitely uh take your time to you know just do these extra precautions because they are going to help out when it comes down to your mission success rate but with that said that's pretty much it for this fortnite quick tips video on uh the pyramid build and you know just some advanced tips and knowledge that you should know long story short don't place these damn walls on the pyramid build all right make sure that you're using your half floors inside and out of the build anyways see you guys in the next one and i hope you guys found this video helpful